husband of Deborah James cancelling their divorce weeks before her cancer diagnosis. H is the man she calls her rock, her blanket and her very backbone after cancer made Deborah James realize how special the connection she shares with her banker husband Sebastian is. But if things had worked out differently, the BBC podcaster, 40, who this week announced Shush has been moved to end-of-life care at her mother's home in Woking, would have been facing her five-year cancer battle as a single woman. The pair, who have been married since July 2008, and share son Hugo, 14, and daughter, Eloise, 12, were in the midst of divorce proceedings in 2016. Before rekindling their relationship a month before Deborah's diagnosis of incurable bowel cancer. Now, the bowel babe has urged her city banker husband, 42, to find love after her death, with the caveat, don't be taken for a ride, don't marry a bimbo. Before her diagnosis, Deborah was an ambitious deputy head teacher WHOD been brought in to turn around a failing comprehensive in Surrey. It meant she and Sebastian were always stressed and barely saw each other. It was a classic case of our marriage coming last, she told the Daily Mail in 2020. Sebastian moved out in 2015 and they embarked on an initially acrimonious divorce, both hiring lawyers and starting to see other people. Deborah even went on some hideous Tinder dates. They'd already had the decree nisi when they agreed to counseling, not with any hope of a reconciliation, but simply to be on more cordial terms for the children. Then, to Deborah's astonishment, the pair began having drinks, then dinner, after the sessions. In November 2016, they made a big step and got back together, only for Deborah to receive her shock diagnosis soon after. Some days I crave the attention, just wanting to feel desired, she told the Daily Mail. Other days, my husband can't sneeze near me without getting his head bitten off. Understandably navigating that, for both of us, is hard.